What's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about making sustains in serum the easy way. The easy way. This is not rocket science and I'm going to kind of expand on the, uh, uh, a sound direction that a lot of uh, producers in the industry are going for right now and how you can get on top of that game instantly. You don't need anything. You don't need anything. Okay, we're just we're gonna work all in serum here, and I'm gonna show you these patches I made in this song. So let's go ahead and get a listen to this drop here. You might have heard it in the preview. Um, track is called it's, uh, "Throw It Back" in the pipeline here. This is what it sounds like, and just listen to the sustains here to get an idea of what I'm talking about. Turn your speakers up, cause I gotta hit them both, both ways. Hit them both ways, hit them both ways. So that's what we're working with here. That that's that those are the those are the, the, the sustains, and it's not rocket science, it's it's extremely simple. So take a look here. Let's just open it up. I'm gonna solo it. I'm going to solo these these sustains here. This is what they sound like here, just in serum, right off the bat. Right here. So there's two things going on. We have a pace synth that is, you know, playing our pace, which is the... Uh, he, uh, he. It's playing a pace. It's, it's, it's kind of giving movement to movement and energy to the record. And then you've got your straight up sustain, which is filling up the atmosphere in the room. So basically here, here's our straight atmosphere synth here. It's extremely simple. And then you've got the uh, he, pace synth. Which is extremely gritty. And, you know... How can you get these sounds? It's it's extremely simple. There's nothing crazy to it. Just if I play the notes in MIDI here. Right there. It's like this weird, crappy sound. You might not, if you just heard it just right off the bat, you'd be like, this is stupid. I don't even want to use this. Like, wh what am I going to do with this? But it's how you, you, you're able to utilize it. Now, open it up in Serum here. Here it is, working from this initial patch here. It's just got basic shapes with a sawtooth, a sawtooth wave basic shape with a comb filter on this dolphin kind of wavetable I have here. Now that is a custom wavetable, and but I'm going when I, when I when I break this down to you on how to get sounds like this, I'm gonna break it down to you using all of the stock wavetables. There's nothing 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 crazy, okay? So that's what it sounds like, and it's just straight up in the, using your LFO to kind of create this sustained format here at a four bar. So this is going to last you for four bars. And then, you know, the comb filter is bringing in all these crazy kind of uh, harmonics in here. So without that, you see, you just got this very digital sound. Now when you bring this in, it's kind of moving, giving you that movement. Now, let's walk through a sound from scratch here. So let's just load in a whole new thing of uh, serum here. Plop it on in. So we're trying to get this just straight up sustained, very digital formatted sound here. So we've got this initial patch. It sounds like this. Um, oh, let me solo it. Right there. All right, so cool. Just this basic sawtooth, whatever. So let's just... You know, and, and, and what you can do is go and listen to all your, every single wavetable in analog, every single wavetable in digital, every single wavetable in, in spectral, and in, 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 in everything that, that, that Serum comes with, and get a knowledge base. Build your knowledge base of sounds that you know you like. Sounds that, okay, I know this wavetable right here sounds like this, and I, I think I can do something with this. Building that knowledge base is going to be the biggest jump start for you to get on top of this game here. So... I know in digital, I like, where is it at? I like cream. Cream sounds sexy to me. Ooh. Look at that. I like that sound right there. That's really subdued. So now, okay, I'm just gonna, we're not gonna do anything crazy. You don't have to do anything crazy. So let's work, let's turn on oscillator B. Throw on a basic shapes and see which one of these basic shapes that we like mixed in with this sound. 
Sign. Cool, that's gritty. Oh, that's interesting. It gets way digital over here. So let's just work here. Right there. Let's grab this one. All right, that kind of beefed it up a little bit. Interesting. Now let's kind of just play around with our warp. This is going to be one of your number one tools here and kind of mixing these two oscillators together and, and creating a, 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 a cool kind of warp here. Just kind of play around with what these things do. And didn't really do much. Ben minus. Let's see. Mm, that's interesting. Now let's just get right to the brass tacks. Let's grab FM from B. Check it. Woo! That's sick. I like that right there. That's nice. Now I'm going to go play around with this again, see if I can, if there's anything that catches my ear. Oh. All right, so we're back to this, which just sounds really, really cool. All right. Now, same thing that you would do for your filters is go and listen to everything that Serum gives you. And, and play with it and move the cutoff. Okay, so that's what that one sounds like. Now, you'll build a knowledge base of what works for you. I'm going to go ahead and grab a comb minus. Build the resonance up. Gives it a little more digital harmonic sound. That was interesting. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, that's sick. Hmm. That's cool. All right. That's sick. I like that. Okay, so we're getting there. Now let's kind of just throw on an LFO here. Yeah, let's throw on an LFO. This is going to move our sound. Oh. You could do something crazy with that. I don't know why it's doing all this crazy stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the phase down and the random down. So it's always going to start at the same position no matter what. Instead of starting at a random point along the wavetable. And what's doing this is this... That comb filter was giving it this weird kind of stereo pan. Which is interesting. Um, let's see here. Alright, so let's keep going here. Now... We've got this sound right here. Now let's kind of just, let's get it louder. Throw on our multiband. Make sure you're writing these things down because these, this is the secret sauce here. Throw the threshold back. Whoa, you've got something crazy now. All right, um, let's see. Let's make sure we put it on B as well, oscillator B. So the filter is affecting A and B. And we're getting these different kind of sounds every time we press the button. That's sick. That's cool. You can do some crazy stuff with that. That's cool. So let me go ahead and load in another one that I hear. So that 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 that's one kind of sound right there. Um, P prime. Prime was a good one. Oh, that's so sick. So I want to do the same thing. I want to build up to this. I wanted to go, you know what I'm saying? So same thing that we're kind of doing here that I'll kind of figure out in a, in a moment here. Now let's throw this LFO one. Actually, let's throw a LFO two on two here, so they're not being, so they're not the same thing. Now you're getting this weird sound right there. But I want it to kind of get to that point where we were. Oh, that's cool. Now let's kind of just make it short, and then let's to get that sustained kind of LFO pattern here, right here, and then let's kind of move it back to like two bars, and then let's turn our trigger on for both of these LFOs. Oh, now what the trigger does is the trigger is going to allow you to it makes the sound start back at the beginning every time you press the key okay instead of it continuing off where it left off in the lfo pattern it starts back at the beginning so 
turn the trigger on most of the time. Now you got this crazy digital sound. That's so sick. Now let's do the kind of do the same thing with this here. Oh, let's just shorten it out. And then kind of give it that sustain as well. And then move it back here to about two bars. Oh, now you've got the sustain. Look at that. Sustains the easy way. Look at that. We didn't do anything. Now let's kind of throw on your distortion. Same thing you're going to do with your wavetables filters as you will with the distortion. Go through and listen to all of them and see how they affect everything. Turn the drive up. That's cool. I can mix that in. Just give it a little bit. Cool. All right, boom. Now we've got that. That's so cool. We've got this crazy cool sound. Now you can keep on changing and get different harmonics in it by moving around the wavetable and playing with the FM, which is what I did here. How you've got this initial harmonic style and then move into this uplifted harmonic style. You see, all I did was, all I did was move move around in the wavetable position. I just moved the way in the wavetable position and the FM position between the two here to get to bring out different harmonics for different sections of the song, as you can see. So boom. Wow. Now we've got this crazy sound. And then you could go in and, and so let, let's say I replace this sound with this sound. Just move it down. Now, let me just go ahead and, and bring the EQ that for the EQ down, and we're going to just listen to the same song with this different sustain, and then you'll see how it instantly should just work for the most part. It's in the same key. Let's see. Gotta hit them both, both ways. Hit them both ways. Hit them both ways. Hit em. <laughs> so we're back from that could work. That could be the song. I might even change it, but that sustains the easy way. It was... It's that simple. There's no rocket science behind this. Go and play around with your warps. Play around with your basic shapes. You don't need any crazy wavetables. You can do this all within Serum. You got this.